we are studying digital signal processing and we have started z transform the most important part understanding the digital systems discrete time sequences and discrete time lti systems in previous two videos we have understood the concept of z transform and what is the region of convergence for each type of sequence we have obtained different type of region of convergence for causal sequence non causal sequence and two sided sequence we have obtained different region of convergence let us solve one more example to understand the more the region of convergence concept this sequence is x of n is equal to 1 or 3 raised to plus n and the time is given the summation limit is 0 to infinity first case and second case it is the summation limit limit is minus infinity to minus 1 okay it's not zero because it is not equal to zero it is less than zero so it is on the left side so we have the z transform relation so z transform of x of n i am repeating this formula of z transform bilateral z, z transform is x of z is equal to sum of x of n over minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z raised to minus n let us substitute our sequence according to the given summation limit so x of z is equal to sum summation limit is 0 to infinity in first case as it is n greater than equal to 0 so what is x of n in this case is 1 or 3 raised to plus n and we have z raised to minus n this is our first sequence plus sum of limit is minus infinity to minus 1 so it is what is x of n in this case it is 1 over 2 raised to minus n z raised to minus n okay limit for this case is given so for this sequence what is the limit given n less than 0 so it is not equal to 0 therefore we have taken minus infinity to minus 1 okay we have to simplify this summation to use the relation okay we'll simplify it let us put n equal to minus m in this case but before that we have to remove this minus 1 and we have to make it zero so how we can make it first of all to do this we should understand this this sequence what is this sequence here okay so actually it is growing sequence growing to the left side if you take the values of n so not equal to 0 you can't take n equal to 0 it is minus 1 n equal to minus 2 n equal to minus 3 and up to minus infinity so this is the limit for this according to the given sequence if you take half raised to minus 1 it is 2 half raised to minus 2 it is 4 half raised to minus 3 it is 8 it is growing okay what is the index index is going to the negative side of 0 left side of 0 okay so if you plot the sequence if you plot the sequence so zero is here let us say it is level it is half or s to minus here okay at zero the signal is absent so it start at minus 1 at minus 1 the sequence value is 2 and at minus 2 it is 4 and minus 3 at minus 3 it is doubling it is 8 okay we can draw here so it is 8 it is going to the left side it is going to minus infinity to minus 1 we have to make we have to remove this minus 1 and we have to shift this okay so let us do it i am going to erase this
okay so put before putting it we'll remove this minus one let us do it if you add minus one here so let us rewrite this again so it is as it is 0 to infinity 1 over 3 raised to n z raised to minus n plus now here we are what we are doing we are doing substitution we have to add minus 1 here to the sequence and this sequence will be n equal to minus infinity to 0 so how this 0 came here we have added minus 1 okay the sequence started minus 1 still it is left sided it is going to the left of 0 so it is half raised to minus n z raised to minus n we have to make it we have to shift this signal to the right side by substituting by changing this limit we have to make it 0 to plus infinity so what we have to do we have to shift it to the right side okay when it will shift if you put m equal to or n equal to minus m in this this summation will change so i am going to write from this so it is minus 1 plus so minus 1 is part of this sequence so it is m equal to minus m equal to minus infinity to 0 and it is half so it is raised to minus of minus m into z raised to minus of minus m okay so this is the substitution so this sequence is as it is present here so so it is n equal to 0 to infinity 1 over 3 raised to n z raised to minus n and this part we have substituted we want to simplify this portion let us simplify this so it will be so rewriting this portion 0 to infinity half raised to n z raised to minus n plus now this one will change so it is positive infinity to 0 we we'll write it as 0 to infinity so that it will be simple to use the relation directly so minus 1 plus so it is n equal to 0 to infinity so it is shifted to the right side and it started minus 1 that is the meaning of this minus 1 okay so it is half raised to plus m z raised to plus m okay now we'll make it simple again rewriting this relation so we'll get n equal to 0 to infinity now 1 over 3 see if you take this z down along with this 3 see it is z if i write z here it means 1 over 3 raised to plus n and z raised to minus n so we have taken z in the denominator so it remains the same relation so it is plus minus 1 plus sum of this or 0 to infinity now and this portion okay if you take z inside the bracket it will be z raised to plus m over 2 raised to m we are getting the same relation okay now we can use the relation so this is x of z now we have relation okay using sum or 0 to infinity a raised to n is equal to 1 over 1 minus a what is a in this case so this portion is a and in this case this is the a this will appear here so directly i am writing the z transform of this x of z is z transform and it is equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3z plus 
minus 1 plus 1 over 1 minus z by 2. So this is the z transform of given x of n. Now we have to concentrate on the values of z to obtain the region of convergence. Now in this case, the first case, so what should be the value of z so that this will be finite, this whole term will be finite. So 1 over 3z, this magnitude of 1 over 3z should be less than 1, should be less than 1, then this term will be finite. Okay. Now if you, we don't want region of convergence like this, we could not draw the region of convergence by using this. 1 or 3z. We want the magnitude of z. Why? Because the value of z for which this x of z will be will attain a finite value. So that will give us the region of convergence. Okay. So if you take mod of z greater than 1 or 3. Okay. So we want magnitude of z. greater than 1 or 3. We want this thing. If you take this, this will give you finite value. Okay. Now in this case, don't concern about this minus 1. So we are interested in the value of z only. So it is magnitude of z over 2 should be less than 1. So it is clear understanding from this, if you take this figure, z over 2 should be less than 1, then you will get finite answer for this. Okay. Now come to the next point, we are interested in the value of z and the magnitude of z should be less than 2 in this case, then we will get the finite value. Okay. So we are interested to find the magnitude of z, not the magnitude of z over 2. Okay. Now we got the region of convergence. So we have, we have first is magnitude of z should be greater than 1 over 3. And second case, the magnitude of z should be less than 2. Therefore, we have region of convergence ROC we have now it is 1 over 3 2 1 over 3 2 2 so this is the region of convergence magnitude of z should be less than should be greater than 3 and less than 2 this is the region of convergence let us plot the region of convergence. Let us draw two circles first. So this is one circle. Okay. One more circle. Okay. This is the imaginary part of Z. You have to write this imaginary and real part because it is Z plane. It is a real part of Z. Z is the complex variable. It has real and imaginary parts. Now, so this inner circle is having radius 1 by 3 and this outer circle is a radius of 2 and it is more than 1 over 3 and less than 2 it means it is the ring the z plane so it is z plane and region of convergence so we have found the region of convergence for given sequence so this is the ring we have the region of convergence So this is defined ROC, so it is 
more than 1 by 3 and less than 2 is the region of convergence.